This is the seven habits of a highly effective Batman. We'll go through Batman's story while illustrating the essence of the seven habits from Stephen Covey's book. Let's start with the first habit, be proactive. We all know how it begins. A young Bruce Wayne witnesses the murder of his parents, shattering his reality. But with adversity comes an awakening and a heightened sense in all four of the human endowments, self-awareness, consciousness, imagination, and independent will. Only someone with a strong sense of all four can master the seven habits. Bruce faced the first habit. In between the stimulus of the murder of his parents and his response, Bruce had a choice. What happened wasn't fair, but he didn't choose to sit around complaining about the world and things he couldn't control. Instead of being reactive, he chose the proactive path by focusing on the things inside his circle of influence. Bruce knew that in order to change the outside world, he needed to change himself. He traveled across the world learning everything he could to become the best version of himself, expanding his circle of influence. Bruce Wayne took responsibility of his future and demonstrated the first habit, being proactive. However, all of his determination and will burned from a single desire. Before all the learning, training, suffering, before even Batman, Bruce began with the end in mind, to rid Gotham of the evil that took the lives of his parents. This mental creation of a cleaned up Gotham guides all his behavior and actions. His vision for Gotham gives him a changeless core and a creed to live by. His two rules are to never take a life and to not use guns. He never wants to become the criminal that murdered his parents. After beginning with the end in mind, Bruce moves to make it happen. To realize his goal of a better Gotham, Bruce had to become a master of self-management. Time can be spent in four quadrants, categorized by importance and urgency. Bruce put first things first and didn't bother with the unimportant. He also knew his goal would require years to accomplish, so he wasn't drawn in by the urgent. Instead, he spent almost all his time in quadrant two, building the foundations to realize his mental creation. Bruce focused on the right things to do rather than doing things right. During his teenage years, he mastered the art of learning graduating school at a young age. Afterwards, he found the greatest minds in criminology, martial arts, and detecting, learning everything he could from them. After this, he finally returned to Gotham, ready to demonstrate the results of his training. Bruce focuses on the results he wants and comes to realization that, as Bruce Wayne, he's not enough to clean up Gotham. But as Batman, he can be a symbol that strikes fear into criminals. As a result of putting first things first, Batman is born. The first three habits are the habits of private victory. This was Bruce's journey to becoming Batman. The next three are the habits of public victory. This begins with our favorite commissioner, James Gordon. Batman knew that he couldn't fight all the criminals alone, so he turned to Gordon with a proposal. If they work together, both of them can mutually benefit by getting a cleaner Gotham. Batman was thinking win-win. If they can create a system of matching incentives and communicate well, then both parties win. However, this shouldn't be taken for granted. Each party has to be trustworthy with good character. For instance, Gordon could have gone with win-lose. Batman is a vigilante after all, so why let him have his way? Other options are lose-lose, lose-win, and win. But by thinking win-win, Batman gained a new trustworthy ally. As Batman encounters more and more criminals, Habit 5 becomes very important. Seek first to understand then to be understood. Batman is the world's greatest detective. He understands the criminal mind to a very high degree, and because of this, he is a master of persuasion. Batman listens with intent to understand instead of with the intent to reply. He diagnoses the situation before acting and does his best to enter the paradigm of his enemies in order to provide the most effective solutions. Batman understands first, then he makes himself understood. One thing Batman understood from the beginning was that allies are invaluable. Habit six, synergy. Batman alone can only do so much, but with each additional person helping him, the potential of what they can do more than just doubles. If Batman can save 10 people alone, with Gordon, he can save 25. With Robin added, they can save 60. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Batman understands that each heart and mind is a valuable resource. So with time, the Bat family formed. Batman would go on becoming one of the founding members of the Justice League. Together, 
they can accomplish close to anything. The final habit is habit seven, sharpen the saw. To sharpen the saw means to practice and improve the four human dimensions, physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional slash social. Physically, Batman trains consistently to maintain his peak human strength. Spiritually, Batman became a master at meditation and his commitment to his values is practiced every time he goes into the field. Mentally, Batman practices by continuously outsmarting criminals. Emotionally slash socially, he puts the time in to train each Robin and establishes a strong relationship with Gordon and the GCPD. Each dimension is connected to the other. The seventh habit is the habit of renewal. As Batman gets more experience, each habit is strengthened through this one. Those were the seven habits of a highly effective Batman. My favorite DC hero combined with my favorite self-development book. I hope by illustrating the points using Batman's story, you'll have an easier time remembering and understanding what each habit means. He may be a fictional character, but that doesn't mean he can't inspire. I probably don't need to tell you to check out Batman, but please consider checking out the book. It gives structure to understanding a lot of aspects of self-development. I'll definitely be covering each habit in greater depth in my future videos. I'll also be releasing a mind map I made for the entire book in the future, so be sure to subscribe to get it. Hope you enjoyed the video.